Hey, check this place out. It's like being transformed back into like the 1950s or something. It's absolutely mental. The size of the place, guys, it's flipping huge. It's massive. So many, so many tourists here. It's, it's amazing. Really brilliant. Awesome, guys. Is it any good? Yeah. How long? How long is the tour? Is it? What's the Guinness like? Happy days. Take care. Happy days. That's all I like to see. It's absolutely huge. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. So I don't know too much about the Guinness uh, brewery. I don't know when it was built. Um, maybe 50, or maybe 100 years ago, I think. Not too sure on that, though. Not too sure when, when it was um, firstly built. So I'll try and get some information on that when I get inside there. So yeah. Happy days. Hello. Hello. Right. And right outside the Guinness factory, we have some horses. And they look a bit, they look a bit skinny. Well nourished. Yeah. Look at these. Proper working horses. They look a bit malnourished. Let's have a look. Hello guys. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's do that then. Right. I assume you can take the old yeah. No So the horses they take you to either location you want to go. Temple Bar, 30 euros. St. Patrick's. I'll get some cash out and we'll have to do it tomorrow on the way back. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? How's it going, mate? You right? Thank you. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we're outside the Guinness factory now. We're going to go inside and see what's about. See some information. Yeah, I'll bring them to free. Hey, come with me. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Hello. Morning. 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 Yo, yo, yo. Ready? Ready, yeah. Welcome to heaven. Welcome to heaven. <laughs> or hell. <laughs> Joking. Thank you. Hello, hi guys. <laughs> the seventh floor, okay, oh. and uh, the tour is gonna be self-guided. Yeah. When you're ready to start, you can take the lift here. You go to the ground floor, and that's where you will start the cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. We will do. Thank you. Take care. Oh, you have to leave the vlog. Yeah, do the vlog. Yeah. Bye. Say hello. <laughs> Welcome. 
Welcome to the Guinness Star House. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Beatrice. Nice to meet you, Beatrice. Nice to meet you, my love. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. Can we both fit in it? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Can I fit in there as well, Trekken? Oh yeah, yeah. just a bar. Yeah. Maybe I'm too heavy. It's for a slim. Wow. Oh. Two for you and two for you. Okay, you will drink, you have DJ. Yeah, you have boogie, you oh. can be drunk. All right? <laughs> They will take all the drinks then. Yes. Yeah, oh, four drinks. Oh, no, I take one. No, not drinking. Oh, God. Which way is it? Uh, see this one. Oh, let's read this. This is the storehouse where, for over a century, the magic process of fermentation took place. Construction began in July of 1902. Four years later, fermentation began in 1988. That's cool. Very cool. Thank you. Storehouse. And that's the store in there. Let's go. The iconic, uh, yeah. Wow, look at this place. Wow, check this place. Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Thank you. So this, this place was built... Do you want me, you want me to do an interview? Are you going to start asking me difficult when, when questions? Was, when, when was the place built? 1902, was it? Uh, 1800s. 1800s, I, I thought it was 20 years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the time, it would have been uh, considered the only skyscraper between Britain and Ireland. Really? So, yeah, skyscraper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's amazing. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Wales. Yeah, whereabouts? Um, Cardiff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I studied in Aberystwyth, so... Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah Satoy T. What was that? Satoy T. That's Welsh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> how are you? How are you? Uh, um, I only know a few words in Welsh, actually. Go on, give us some. Um, Dale Dewey. Dale Dewey. My name's Dale. Yeah. My name's Dale. Okay. Ga okay. iti, iti bach, what's can I go to the toilet, please? <laughs> <laughs> I give hey. you, I give you the Irish ones then. So, Crahor is Adam Dom, Connor is my name. Yeah. I'm a Cadigam Dolgadi and Laris. Can I go to the toilet? There you are. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Have you got to the toilet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at all. Cheers. Thank you, Connor. And this is the famous Guinness Gate, I believe. Very cool, right? Pretty cool. Really cool. There's an elevator just here, by the way. I'll call it for you now. Thank you. Now, it's self-guided, so you can come up and down as you please, Dale. If you wanted to get a point early, get up to the gravity bar, and you can come up and down. So, I go to gravity bar. Well, yeah, you, usually there. people end there, yeah, it's still okay. the gold stuff at the end of your ticket. Okay. But if you did want to uh, get one in early, yeah. um, you're free to bring it then to the other parts of the tour. Okay, so I could go to the gravity bar and get a pint to bring yeah, it down? Yeah, if you want to, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Do you recommend yeah. that? Uh, yeah, well, you get a nice view, it'll be kind of quieter this time as well. Too. All right, I mean, yeah, go busy. to bar first, yeah? I, I think so, if All you right. want. Yeah, yeah, right, cheers, man. Yeah. Breakfast. Up to yourself, though. Enjoy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Colin. Take care. Hey. Hey, check this for a view, guys. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is amazing, look at this! Hey. I walk around? Sorry guys, can I, I don't mean to uh, photobomb you. What a view, eh? Beautiful view, isn't it? Hey, look at this guys, what a view! This is amazing! The whole view, the, the view of Dublin here? Yeah? Wow, well, it is a skyscraper as well. Sorry! Whoa! I can't get over how, how high it is. When you're outside, it doesn't look this high. When you're up here, you can get you get um, a real feel of how high it is. It's called the gravity bar. <laughs> wow! St. Patrick's Tower. St. Patrick's Tower, with its distinctive green copper dome, is the last remaining part of what was the George Road Coal Distillery, which was first opened in 1757. Wow! That's a bit of information there for you guys. Hey guys, it's absolutely huge. Um, 
I didn't realize how big it was until you up here, actually. Wow, I'm glad they come here, but just for the view, isn't it? Just for the view's worth it. <laughs> I think this is why I come now to get the pints, guys, I think. Slowly. Slowly, ah, it's like one, yeah, 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 slow. <laughs> slow. You will have to get more. Yeah, I'll just get slowly. one at a time, innit? Yeah, slowly. So here's my ticket for, um, here's my ticket for the point. And look at that lovely view of Dublin. Wow. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> very, very bright. Breakfast is served. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Yeah, can I, can I get that please? Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you very much. It's never too early for Guinness. My first time trying uh, Guinness from here. Really? Yeah. In Ireland or for this sort of? Um, I tried I try one for the bottle, but it's not the same as it. That's the, uh, the Guinness original, yeah, that's the more carbonated, you know. Yeah. This is, uh, like, it's not even the original, but it's just the most popular for it. Not that reason. Okay, yeah. Do you to change? Give us zero. Oh, look at that. We'll wait for it to go up, I think. Do you want to top it up? Just keep down here. I'm going to drop off. Okay. And now this is fresh, a fresh pint from the, um, the mom she got here. Guinness is settled now. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely delicious, guys. It's, it looks like 11.45 in the morning, but uh, we got here early. We got here early because um, it's less people and less crowded, so. <sighs> Look at the head of that. Proper Guinness, a proper place. It tastes more, actually, it tastes more alcohol y. It's the alcohol in it more than anywhere else, really. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Yeah, man. Awesome. Hey, almost half down, halfway down. It tastes, it tastes quite strong. It tastes a little bit like coffee. Creamy. This is creamy, guys. Look at it. Yeah. I can see why people come here actually. You feel very nice view over there. There's a lo lovely view in the background of all the mountains and stuff. It's really, really nice. Delicious. <laughs> Crafted one one thousand casks and made every week. Wow. 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 Let's check it out, is it? Tools used to make the valves with medieval stuff, guys. 
200 years ago. 1804, these, um, 1804, these tools were designed to perfectly make barrels. I mean, you don't make things like this anymore. Medieval, this is medieval time. Legs, woods, hoops, wood. Metal hoops, amazing. Look how far I've come, guys, in modern history and modern time. It's amazing how, how much we've achieved in 200 years. Just over 200 years, we've achieved a lot in human barrel making. Amazing, simply amazing. Intriguing, very intriguing. When the hoops are in place, the bomb holders will. And as the Americans would call it, moonshine. <laughs> And here we go guys, look at the barrels, beautiful metal rings, as we've seen the tools, the tools we've just seen then, made these bad boys, I don't know if these are the original ones down here, but they're nice, they're worth some, uh, worth some money aren't they, yeah? and look at the barrels there, stacked up, multiple barrels on top of each other in big huge lines, simply amazing. And there we go, you can see it, 200 years of cooperation. Look at the size. Look at the size of the place, guys, as we've seen just now on top of the, um, on the sky glass. Look at the pipes, all the pipe beach. It's gonna be amazing. Just think how, how long it took to make this place. It's amazing. Obviously now we've got a lot of tourists here, like myself, taking photos and getting along with it. This is wheat. I believe this is uh, barley. It's barley. Barley. Wheat, barley. Barley, wheat, same sort of thing, isn't it? The yeast collecting marrow. Look at that machinery, look at that machinery, mate. Wow. They're not hot, so. What's that? The hops? Okay. That's where the flavour comes from then. This is where that distinctive Guinness flavour comes from, the hops, I believe. I think so, anyway. <laughs> Ask me after multiple Guinnesses, then I won't be able to tell you. It looks a bit like, um, I don't know, it's definitely flour though, isn't it? It's a bit like cannabis from afar, but it's not. Yeah, there, check it out. Trying to grab a piece of the coat. Hops. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? It's a piece of history in here, isn't it? Look at that. What a piece of engineering in itself. 200 years old piece of engineering is crazy. Absolutely crazy to think that's 20 years old, isn't it? It's mad, isn't it? Crazy. How can you think the brains? Amazing. Us humans have come so far in 200 years, it's, it's shocking.
<laughs> it's mad to think how, how, how much we've um, grown in 200 years as humans. And back then we even came up with designs as, as good as that, as knowledgeable as we are as humans. Our brains and our mechanical and engineering skills are brilliant. 232 degrees. So here we go. Starts off. Starts off with fresh barley at zero degrees, and then they heat it to 190, which is like a pizza, pizza bean in the oven. At 225, it's a big piece of chicken, and then the barley is roasted like coffee, basically. It's a bit like coffee making. It's like coffee making. It's like coffee making. So this guy's is Kibali. It's basically like coffee. Your hands in there. The situation. Wow, what experience. Here at St. James's Gate, we've been working with Irish barley farmers and monsters for generations. I think for many, for 200 years, it's people's livelihood. You know, it's people's livelihood as well, isn't it? A Over lot of history. The years, the Amazing. It's not such a drink, such an alcoholic drink as people's living. Chemical. <laughs> it starts off with. All oh right, it starts off with the ingredients, obviously, and then I think, yeah, I just go across. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, it's nice. Robert Morton and co engineers. Real engineers. Pipe work here. Well, it's a laugh, laugh a bit of engineering itself. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow, look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's got a massive symbol. Yeah, look at that. It's a No, look at it. Amazing. That's crazy, isn't it? Have you counted? <laughs> I didn't actually count it. <laughs> was that estimation? Estimation? I actually count was it? Scientists work around the clock to ensure the quality of the years. What the size of that? The process is crazy. You can go upstairs, Dale. Hi guys, when you're ready to go to the next floor, you can go around to the court. Alright, cheers, thank you. Yeah, imagine that. They're fun to make some areas. science behind the Guinness. It's not just an alcoholic drink, it's science and it's people's livelihood. It's, it, it, it's everything.
I go upstairs, yeah? No, I walk? I huh? Wait for you. you wait for me here? Yeah. Well, why should I go upstairs? See the top, top of the barrels over there. Some machinery, the pipework. Wow, this is crazy. Liquid innovation as well. Dispense innovation. Even the steel work is crazy. Extracting the tubing, pipe, pipe work is very good. Nice bit of dispenser, dispenser there on the draft. I'm not really interested in how the pipe's being poured, I'm interested in how it's made. This is top, the tops of the um, top to the machines. This way. Yeah, you said not the escalator, sir. But my, my wife and her sister-in-law is still down there, so... Well, as we're still on the bottom floor? Or are they still, still in, in on there? this floor. Um, oh, perfect. So they'll just come down here and just come right here. What was that? So, what they do is the wall frame, same way you did. Yeah, but it's like, it's, it's a barrier thing, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Come right in here. I'll go up through it, sir. Okay, thank you. Oh. I'll walk back this way, yeah? Yeah, you want to wait there. Huh? If they're still walking around, you can walk back around, you can wait there. Yeah. I walk back around. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> What's the big queue for then? It's a base. So we're going to scoot you through the next part of the tour. It's only part where we slow it down for a few minutes just for health and safety. So if you go okay, all the way around. Okay, no worries. What's this? It's a bit of tasting, is it? Uh, you're gonna learn how to taste Guinness like a professional. Okay. Uh, like like the wine taster, yeah? Oh, even better. Even better than that. So we you give a little swirl and go. Mm. Well, you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out. Aye, right, thank you. Go wait by the bench or something, for some reason. I don't know why. Shocking. So the doors are closing. I'm going to assume we have just for everybody. So you're all very welcome to our tasting rooms today. Guys, my name is Emma. I'll be your guide for this short part of your tour. This is the first of two rooms we have here. We call this one the one room for very obvious reasons. It's designed this way to alert and stimulate your senses to enhance your tasting experience. If you didn't hear me before, I did mention the four aroma pods. 
Each of them contains a different key flavor, but you can find it in every pint of Guinness. The first one over here to my left is the malted barley. The malted barley is the source of all sugars in Guinness. It's responsible for that subtle sweetness that you might taste when you're drinking a beer, and it smells a bit like breakfast cereal or like biscuit. Next to that one over in the corner, we have the beer esters, which is the odd one out of the four. It's not a physical ingredient in Guinness, it's a byproduct of the fermentation process. This just means that these flavors are produced during the fermentation process, and you might notice that they smell a bit like toffee or like caramel. Then across the way, we have the hops, which are the tall vine-like plants you might have seen in the ingredients section of your tour. They act as a natural preservative, keeping Guinness better for longer, and they also give it that dry and bitter, bitter finish. Then finally, over here to my right, we have the roasted barley, which is usually the fun favorite of the four, as it smells a bit like dark chocolate or like coffee. And it's not like this because we roast our barley in a very similar way to how coffee beans or cocoa beans are typically roasted. And we're actually the largest brewery in the world to roast our own barley right here on site. So all four of these flavors come together to make up every single pint of Guinness, no matter how big or in our case today, how cute and adorably small. small. Isn't that just the cutest pint of Guinness you've ever seen in your whole life? Guys, I think that deserves a big aww. Uh. Uh. So we're all gonna get one of these cute little samples now in just a moment. Uh. I do just have two very quick rules to run through with you all first. The first one is that the legal drinking age here in Ireland is 18. So you're welcome to take a sample provided you are over the age of 18. We do also operate on a Challenge 25 policy here at the storehouse. This just means if you appear to be under the age of 25, you may be asked for ID up at the bar. So please don't be offended if you are asked for ID. And please don't be offended if you're not asked for ID. <laughs> now our second rule is that you'll all be talked through a guided tasting technique in the second tasting room. So we will ask you not to drink your sample in here. You'll come up, collect your sample, and then oh, make God. your way either side of the bar into the next room for that guided tasting. Let's get it on. So with that, guys, you can come on up, take your sample, and as I said, make your way either side of the bar. Let's get it on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the chit chat, let's taste the bloody Guinness. I can hear the sound of it. We've seen how it's made, we know how it's made, let's bloody drink the bloody thing. Is that a GoPro? GoPro, yeah. Are they good? Yeah, it's pretty good. You see? You're, on, uh, you're on my YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube and Facebook. You'll be famous. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Barry. Barry, Dale, nice to meet you, man. Hey, nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> let's get one. Ooh, let's get that one. Yes. Cheers, Barry. Enjoy life. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers man. Mess. Thank you. <laughs> let's try it. Hey, look at this. So you gotta wait if you gotta wait for the bell to bring it. <laughs> if you gotta wait for the bell to bring then drink it or just drink it our own accordance. So guys, you're very welcome to our second tasting room. We call this room the Velvet Chamber. It's designed to look similar to how Arthur Guinness's own stream would have looked in the 18th century. If you have a look around, you might spot there's some Guinness memorabilia located around the room also, including Arthur Guinness's own portrait back there in the back in that corner. So, I think we almost have everybody now. I will ask you guys to try not block up that doorway on your way into the room. We do have plenty of space in here for everybody. We want to make sure everyone can take part in our tasting technique today. We don't want to leave anyone stuck in those corridors. So do make your way all the way into the room. So there's three very short steps to this tasting technique today, guys. But the first and the most important thing to Should note, the golden rule when you are tasting your Guinness, is that we never, ever, ever sip on our Guinness. If you have a look at your sample there, you'll see why. You'll see that white foam that's forming at the top of the glass. This is all the nitrogen in Guinness which rises to the top and it's there for texture reasons but definitely not for flavour reasons because if we sip our Guinness we're going to get a very bitter taste from this white foam so instead what we want to do is take generous mouthfuls of our Guinness when we're drinking it. So with that the first thing you want to do is lift your glass up to your nose, take a deep inhale, see if you can locate any of those aromas from the white foam. You want to follow this up with that generous mouthful. Then you set your palate for just three to four seconds, coating your tongue before swallowing and then exhaling through your nose. And then as you exhale through your nose, guys, you should get that subtle sweetness from the malted barley right on the tip of your tongue, all the way in the back. You should get that dry and bitter finish that comes from the hops. 
finally at the centre and the side of your tongue. You should get that richness, that dark chocolate or coffee like taste which comes from the roasted berry. So are we all getting that? I see some nods. Some well, you don't want it. Also don't want to get down you. Get down you. So before I leave you guys, I'll leave you all with an Irish cheers. Does anyone know what we say here in Ireland? Yeah. 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 Perfect. So on the count of three, we're going to raise our glasses and we're all going to say slancha together. Ready? Slancha on three. One, two, three. Slancha. Perfect. So you can finish Goodbye. your samples, guys. Make your way over here to my right through the doors. If you can leave your glasses down on the gold trays, just here to my right anyway, also, that would be great. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I measure stayed upstairs. So, almost late class for the May as well just stay upstairs. May as well just down the pipe upstairs actually. I thought it was any. <laughs> actually, it just tastes exactly the same as the pipe I had upstairs. Hello mate. I was going anyway. So now I don't know what I'm doing. Guinness memorabilia here, here. I've seen this before, this one. Some old 1970s. 1970s Guinness memorabilia. done with this. Doing now at this point. At this point, I've seen everything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. At this point now, guys, I've seen everything on this um, tour, and um, I think the tour is going to be over soon. But we all got back up to the uh, uh, gravity bar and drink some more Guinness.
So this is the rock show. Like it, hey. Let's try the rock show. Oh yeah. Actually, it's quite mild, isn't it? It's really uh, lighter. It's what? It's lighter than most. It's light, yeah, it's light, isn't it? Airy, light. It tastes like water. That tastes like water. And this is a cider, yeah? That's a cider. This is the Rock Show cider, guys. Is this Brunel Island then? Irish? Brunel, yeah. Irish cider? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I get one um, Rock Show, and I shall get. Oh, man. One Rock Show, and I get an Open Gates. I give that, okay, yeah. give that a try, yeah. Thank you. Even though I haven't tried that one yet. Do you want to try it? Now? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. I may as well if you're gonna even give me free bloody tasters, I may try it. How's it going, my friend? You okay? How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's actually the best I felt in a long time. Okay. I don't speak very good English. It's okay, I don't speak very good. Uh what where are you from? Italian. Italy. Italy, oh, okay, good. Yes. Yeah, nice cheeses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, from Roma. Roma. You're famous for pasta, pasta, pasta. pasta. You like pasta? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Linguini, Linguini. 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 Yeah. Pesto. Yes. Very good. Huh? Oh. Yes, please. Yeah, well, that's the Thank you. So this is the Upper Gate Citra IPA. Let's try the Citra IPA. Ah, lovely. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Citrus nice, yeah? So I got, yes please, so I got the apple cider and the citra. Thank you so much. Hey, look at that guys. Obviously I've drunk two Guinnesses, so I don't really want to be drinking any more Guinness, really. Because Guinness is quite heavy on the stomach, you know? How's it going, my friend, you right? What's up? What's up, man, you right, yeah. Okay, girls. Hey, that's all right. Can you do just chips on its own down there? Or can we do just fries on its own? Yeah, mum. Yeah, 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 that's absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Hey, that's really delicious. Do you want my ass now? Can I try those six How's it going, man? You right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, good, thank you. I'll be even better now for these two pints. Do you want to hold that for a minute? Yeah. Give us a little. Uh... So this is the Rock Show apple cider, guys. Let's give it a little. Done. I did like three, four, one, perfect. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank, thank you very much, man. Awesome. Look at that, guys. How much is that? 12 euro. What pound? 10. 10 pounds, guys, in the Guinness, um, Guinness place.
Jack with his heart upon his back. And we swore one day he set the world on fire. Whose face they'd never seen since his show that could play through the middle of the day by you tents and wires.
Oh, boy. So guys, that's my Guinness tour over. I am a little bit drunk and cheers guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Happy ending. <laughs> cheers guys. Cheers.